Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the ABCs of TPBs. This episode brought to you by, um, I don't know, the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, okay. Do you just have one of those? Yeah, I just, I mean, I just have one lying around. Oh, okay. You know, it's, it's, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. It's a, it's, I, I dusted it off, you know. It, uh, so the Avengers need you, sir. Do they? Yes. Well, where where, where was my invitation when uh, <laughs> back back before I had the gauntlet? Hey, look, we got two black dudes. We don't need any more black that's dudes. What, the it's, uh, it's, it's a, that's, that's what Captain America needs to rally behind. Just affirmative action. Affirmative action. Yeah. Affirmative action. <laughs> Uh, but here we are on episode uh, 12, I believe. We're in the L's. We're going to be reviewing Lo and Lazarus. Mm -hmm. This is four straight image titles. <laughs> that We've just been going be on an image streak. <laughs> we are on an image, <laughs> image streak. streak. Um, but no, this is this Ninja Dave. We've got Seed here. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to start us off with Lo. Uh, yeah. Before we do, is there anything that you want to tell the, the populace? Anything going on? Nah. Cooking in the books? Nothing? Nah. No? Nothing, all right. nothing at all, man. Let's back into it. Let's roll into this. <clears throat> we are reviewing Rick Remender's and uh, Tocini's Lo. I think it's Robert Tocini? I don't know. Is it Robert Tocini? Let, let, let me, let me just up. open the page here. Uh, Greg Tocini. Greg Tocini. Mm -hmm. uh, volume 1, The Delirium of Hope. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and give you guys the uh, the Contra Code here. We're going to cheat and tell you that neither of us were able to finish this book. Nah. Uh, we're going to do, do a slightly different format with this review. We're going to just talk about why we couldn't get into it. Mm -hmm. So let's start. <clears throat> uh, the artwork, just right off the bat, just, just the cover here. It's got like a little glossy figure with yeah. a, a kind of a matte finish background, so it's, yeah. it's already standing out. Image is dope with those those matte backgrounds they have for their trades, which is I, I think like the vast majority. Like Lazarus is uh, an exception to that, but I think mm -hmm. for the most part, I wouldn't. I, I don't know why, but I just love the setup of those of those trades that Image have with the with the matte background, yeah. and then you add on the uh, the the hologram, I guess you could say mm -hmm. ish. Uh, on top of that map background for mm -hmm. uh, for the character, there, it's uh, the the presentation is dope. Yeah, the presentation is great. You've got a a, a woman who looks like she's uh, mid late twenties in a spacesuit <clears throat> that that is you, you turn it upside down. It looks kind of almost reminiscent of Chitara. Like before mm -hmm. they came to Third Earth, they were just all essentially naked, but then they they still had that. So she has that orange and white coloration, and she has the bubble helmet uh, to, to I guess to note that she is. Uh, in space or in some location where she cannot breathe oxygen and has a self-assisted suit. Underwater. Uh, underwater. Uh, she's, uh, I mean, I guess you can say underwater because, <laughs> because that's what it is. I mean, there are all man manner of uh, sea creatures surrounding her, tentacles wrapping around her. She doesn't seem like she's too bothered by it. She's just kind of floating down. She's chilling, man. Um, the but, environment she looks comfortable to be in. Yeah, no one. I'll, I'll I'll say this. No one recommended this book to me. I just I was in the comic shop one day and I was like, hey, this looks pretty interesting. Low nine bucks. It was a pretty thick book. It, it, it was a thumb through it. The artwork seemed different. De you know, decent. Yeah. So I was like, let me just give us a, a chance. Hey, sometimes <laughs> you gotta take that gamble, man. Sometimes those gambles pay off. Sometimes they don't pay off. Sometimes they don't. But uh, I started reading through this thing. And the artwork really kind of struck me at first. It was very kind of high art concept. Yeah. Uh, uh, very futuristic in scope, I guess you could say. Um, <clears throat> it also had a, a kind of an unfinished feel to it. Uh, the, as, as I kind of get deeper into the books. The artwork had an unfinished feel? The artwork kind of had an unfinished feel to it. It's like the... the, the you see this panel here where there's more detail in the body here, but then you move over to this panel, and even though we're zoomed away a bit and then you kind of lose some detail, it just starts to, it's like those details don't matter. It's like you, you get the idea here and then we're just kind of pushing the things along. And well, it also is like, you know, a naked woman right there in the foreground, so they didn't want to put too much detail. Well, I mean, this, but, but still, even with the next page here, you got this splash, you, you get the sense that there's all this advanced technology and it's represented in a very stylized way yeah the the thing that if we're talking about artwork here the thing that Tocini does is uh, if it's just like one thing in the panel everything is for the most part crisp and clear mm -hmm. you can tell what's going on mm -hmm. but some of the panels where, where there's a whole lot of shit going on it's, I don't know what the fuck's happening like busy. this is just it's, it's busy it's, there's a lot of busy damn panels mm -hmm. In this book, it doesn't seem, and it it it, it, it kind of made me feel like, like I said, I, I appreciate the the quality of the art, the style of the art, uh, in that in that same vein of um, uh, what's the 
great. Uh, Jack Kirby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Late great Kirby. Late great Kirby. I appreciate the hell out of his artwork, what he's done to the to to redefine the comics world, all that kind of stuff. But when I go and look at Jack Kirby artwork, I can only look at it for so long before my eyes start to get sick. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of how I feel about Tachini's art. And Tachini, I'm 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 sorry. I mean. It's amazing. So you got some amazing stuff here, but it is killing me. <laughs> yeah, I, I 100% agree. There's, yeah. there's a lot of times, especially with that, that attack at the end of the first issue, I, I didn't know what I was looking at sometimes. Yep. I didn't know what was going on. Some stuff didn't quite make sense to me, mm-hmm. and I, I was just I was out. It, it seemed like it seemed like the, the dialogue... And the artwork just did not fit each other. Mm. They didn't work together. Yeah, if, it, if that makes sense. What did you think about the story? Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I thought it was interesting. Yeah, they're underwater. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't know why that we're not living on the surface anymore. Yeah, uh, but we are living underwater. I think mm-hmm. there are attempts of varying natures on in varying stages. Mm-hmm. Of trying to get back to the surface and get out of the underwater, mm-hmm. and uh, that I thought was kind of interesting. And you know, we got, we're kind of following this family here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, some shit happens in the, in the first issue, and I just didn't didn't care. Didn't care. I just, just didn't, didn't care. It didn't drag you in, and that's really odd because <clears throat> you've been a Remender fan. For, no, 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 no. Oh, you no, haven't. I'm not a Remender fan. Oh, I it's thought just you like reasons you. like this. No, oh, okay. uh, Remender did this. He did. Uh, Age of Ultron, which I did not like. Mm-hmm. I thought that was very clunky. Remender also handled the uh, X Men Axis that was poorly handled for mm-hmm. Marvel. Okay. Uh, he did Deadly Class, which I'm like, yeah, it's okay. Um, I couldn't yeah, do any I other. Did. Oh, Black Science. I, I I find myself getting bored with that as well. I just find mm-hmm. myself getting bored with mm-hmm. a lot of Remender's work. Okay, so if so, the was it the writing that killed it for you, the artwork that killed it for you, or a little bit of both? Well, considering that Remender is the writer on all those titles mentioned, mm-hmm. I'm going to say it's probably the writing that doesn't do it. Really? For me. Yeah. So Remender so I mean, is not in my top ten. Okay. Or fifteen or twenty. So I mean, I mean, just looking at the artwork, what do you what do you think about that stuff? I mean, I mean like you were talking pages. about busy. It's yeah. busy. And yeah. you look at random pages. Like at a quick <clears throat> glance, I'm like, ah, oh, that's kind of dope. But when I actually start trying to dig into what's going on, as mm-hmm. it uh, as it pertains to the story, mm-hmm. then I'm like, I, I I don't know what the fuck is happening here. Yeah, it's like <clears throat> it's like when you when you have a comics page and you like if you if you're quote unquote rushing through the story, not really appreciating the art, and then you so you're like, you know, let me stop and study this panel. Then you start seeing all this other shit that's going on. That you're like, oh man, this is this is a great detail. This kind of thing. With this one, it's like you zoom into the panel and you get less. Yeah. It's like you get less. You, you you come away with more questions about it. He <laughs> crams stuff in quite unlike Zadarsky crams stuff in. Mm-hmm. Like Zadarsky crams a bunch of stuff in Sex Criminals in That's relevant. The foreground and background. Yeah. And yeah, and you know that your eyes are gonna be looking for all the jokes and whatnot. And there's a lot mm-hmm. of shit going on sometimes, but it doesn't feel busy or detracting from it the is. story. Right. This is this is. <clears throat> too much stuff going on on some of these panels yeah. and I, like I said the writing wasn't doing it for me either yeah, it's like it's like there's a lot of high art stuff I mean it's it's beautiful stuff it's 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 nice stuff but yeah, it's just it's so fucking busy it's not really defined as, as well it's just like yeah. it's like it's, it's suggested hey here's what's going on I think that, that was done purposely <laughs> for the underwater feel because nothing is clear and defined underwater oh, right? there, are no, there are no crisp it's lines it's a fisheye lens that we have that we're looking at this. So not, not even just a lens but if you were just to open your eyes underwater mm-hmm. you're not going to see things clearly and I, I think that's kind of what they were going for. Oh, you are giving him such <laughs> such a long rope to hang. I mean, with. I, I, image <clears throat> does not generally do a bad pairing of writers and artists. Usually, mm-hmm. you have to create your team and then pitch to image. Mm-hmm. They don't. It's not like Marvel where they'll put you with an artist mm-hmm. uh, or they'll put you with a writer to do something. Mm-hmm. But these two chose to work together, which means somebody had a specific vision. Mm-hmm. To teeny fit whatever vision Reminder had. 
Uh, and I hypothesize that that might be part of the vision to mm-hmm. to not have it as crisp and as clear. It might have been why he specifically sought out the Cheney. I haven't mm-hmm. read anything else that he's done art wise. I'm not sure if this is his normal style. Like mm-hmm. like quietly, you know, quietly shaky ass hand, right? You know, uh, Dustin Wynn's hand, mm-hmm. and then maybe this is just what uh, the Cheney does, and that's what Roman are looking for in this. I do like these title pages though. <laughs> Yeah, I mean they're the issue one title well page is like, also good. Yeah, it's very, it's very. I mean, it seems like a lot of his panels are kind of like that, almost like, like each panel was, was it's it's kind of like its own standalone thing. Like if it if it just took that and just kind of blew it up, it could be its own thing. But it's like you're getting so much of that over and over and over. It, it does fatigue the eyes. It fatigues the eyes. That's yeah. a good way of putting it. And the yeah. story fatigued my brain as well. Yeah. Um, I didn't find any characters worthwhile to latch on to. Uh, mm-hmm. This is my second time, like I told you before, trying to read this joint. I got much further the first time yeah. before I quit. And this time, I, I barely got halfway through issue two before I was done. And I kind of feel bad, man. I, I kind of feel like, hey, it looks beautiful. and I mean, the story didn't grab me, but I kind of feel like I want to finish it at least. Yeah, you real. paid ten bucks for it. Yeah. <sighs> I know, but you know, I also paid ten bucks for other stuff that I really enjoyed. Yeah, that's true. Um, uh, I mean, maybe, should, should I have to fight? You shouldn't to, have to, to fight, fight to fight finish to it just to justify spending ten bucks for it. No, yeah. you should finish it because you were interested and you want to finish it. Right. Uh, this might mean I got a couple books on my shelf that I got like halfway through. And I'm just like, ah, this wasn't for me. And there's a couple what do you, what of books. What do you do with the books that you're like, eh? I have like a tertiary bookshelf they just kind of sit on. Really? Like my first shelf is just all image. Uh-huh. And my second shelf is a split between Marvel and DC. Uh-huh. And third shit is like half of like just stuff that kind of doesn't fit in the first two, like Watchmen or like uh-huh. a, or something like that. And then like the other half is just like random shit that's just kind of packed in there, and that's yeah. that's kind of where that stuff goes. I have to get done with it. I'm just like, ah, I really wasted my time with that. And I'll put it on the third shift shelf, yeah. or if I didn't finish it, I'll just throw it on the third shelf. So you need to donate them shits, close the space up, something like that, man. I, I just I kind of feel like you know they need to be given another home almost. It's like it's like yeah, that. Find somebody who might enjoy. It's it. like that adoption thing. It's like hey, you know, I couldn't take care of Scrappy, but hey, yeah, I couldn't take care of Black Science Volume One, but yeah. uh, you, you, you want to. I will tell you, I will admit that I do have a, a bit of a problem, a bit of a hoarding a problem, problem when it comes to comics. If I get a comic and I, you know, if I bought one comic and I read it and I just didn't like it or I don't finish it or what have you, I don't throw them away. I don't give them to other people because that's just, I don't know, that's just like maybe, hey, I'm going to give you something I don't want kind of deal. I don't want, you know, to do that way. But I, I hold on to them. And maybe I kind of feel like, um, yeah, if someone, if I, you know, if someone gets my entire collection, if I give it to my kids or something. Um, they may they may find something redeeming about the story. They may find some stuff, some gems in in there that I you know that things to appreciate that I did. not There's a specific <laughs> series that I have of books of novels, a uh, mm-hmm. 14 novel series that I thought was generally trash. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I bought a bunch of the books ahead of time, which I do not advise now. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, fuck it, I'm here. I might as well finish this shit. Mm-hmm. And the only reason I still have you know, those 14 books is it on the off chance my kids might be interested mm. in. But I find out they're not then and them joints are getting booted yeah. to, uh, to uh, whatever used bookstore for a dollar each and I'll be happy to get my fourteen dollars back. Yeah. Maybe I do need to go kinda of go through and, and, and pare down some of my stuff because there's some of the stuff that's in there I, I, I don't think I'm going to read and and some of the stuff I let my kid look through and she's like eh and she has her own comics box of yeah, stuff that she yeah. likes so uh, maybe well, I should, should. I, donate him in the name of Pop Rica that's what I do for the library that's well, down the street for me I was like here's not. a stack of shit in the name of Pop Rica Podcast remember we heard it I may do that I may do that I've also uh, I've been known to hand out a few comics like doubles and stuff that I've gotten free comic book day as, um, as Halloween gifts there you go boom. yeah it's like here's some candy here you go and a kid book. here's Watchmen for you yeah, yeah. <laughs> while you're hyped up on, 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 on sugar, sugar. Yeah, no. go ahead and just tear through this entire series yeah, yeah. Ask, ask mommy and daddy later on what the relationship between the comedian and so Spectre 1 was all about exactly exactly you don't need to see any of this stuff but uh, you know what happy Halloween happy Halloween <laughs> <laughs> So I think that's what we're gonna call it that on on low. I, you know, it's that was this was probably the quickest review. Is there any other Reminder stuff that you can think off top of your head that you've read? Uh, not off the top of my head. I I I've, and like I said, I'm familiar with him. I, I'm familiar with uh, that. You know, he's done some stuff that I have read, but I am trying to I'm trying to remember stuff that I, that that he's done that I liked. 
Excellent. I mean, the only reason I did Deadly Class is because I was interviewing the editor mm-hmm. uh, for uh, for a, a podcast. So I was like, well, I need that because he, he's the editor on almost everything Reminder has done. Mm-hmm. Or uh, not, yeah, Deadly Class, not Black Science. I'm looking uh, right here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, it's got Venom, Tokyo Ghost. Black oh, that's Heart right. Billy. That's the only thing Reminder has ever made that I fucking love. What? Venom? Tokyo Ghost. Tokyo Ghost. Okay. I love this shit at Tokyo Ghost. Hmm. Um, it was my tease and I think at that point I was like I got way too much image on here so I switched some stuff out and I remember if Tokyo Ghost is one of the joints that I switched out. Hmm. But we might be talking about it down the road or I can just look and see right now and the verdict is my tea is not Tokyo Ghost. All right. Inside? Oh, actually, it's yeah, it's either gonna be Thor, God of Thunder, or Tokyo Ghost. Okay, right. so we might maybe, we'll maybe I'll maybe I'll go Tokyo Ghost to give Remender a, re- a redemption, a return, a redemption of Remender. Yeah, the redemption of Remender. Right. I have to see what's uh, what comes before that and what comes after that. Right. I did hear th- good things about Gigantic. Okay, um, that's another Remender thing. Okay, uh, then. So before that, I got a Oni. Before that, I got a Valiant. And after that, I got another. Uh, I got a uh, Vertigo. So maybe, maybe we'll throw that image join in. Make some stuff in there. We're going to give you guys something more than just image, uh, you know, hand jobbery around here <laughs> next time. So we're going to go to the break and we're going to come back with Lazarus. <laughs> to be clear, these are no goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you didn't know, if you didn't realize. We will uh, not be touching volume two with our hands. We, yes, not not with our hands. Maybe someone else's hands, and only this, only then to. We're back. We're back right here on the ABCs of TPB with a vengeance. We're back with a vengeance. We're we're ABC and we're TPB and with a vengeance. Mm-hmm. This half of the episode, we're talking. About a little joint called Lazarus, man. Another image product, man. Written by Greg Rucka. Art by Michael Lark. I do believe that is his first name. Uh, yep, Greg Rucka and Michael Lark. Mm-hmm. Uh, colors by Santi Arcus or Arsis. Mm-hmm. Uh, edited by David Brothers. Are you familiar with David Brothers? I'm not. Uh, cool ass dude on Twitter. Dude really? was, uh, yeah. <laughs> he was, uh, he was a huge image dude when I, uh, when I first met him, I got to talk to him at New York uh, Comic Con, mm-hmm. and he has since left Image. But uh, dude goes hardcore into some into some into some nerd shit like comics and anime and all that kind of okay. stuff. Like he is he is he doesn't dip his toe in. He dove in head first on the nerd shit. Man. Well, his name is David, so I, you know he, he already gets points there. And plus, his Twitter name is at Hermanos, which is Spanish for brothers. Yeah, so yeah, you Hermanos. can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Um, so Lazarus, a bit of a sci-fi joint. Mm-hmm dystopian future where uh, uh, U.S. and a good bit of the world has been carved up into pretty much different families, not mm-hmm. unlike mob families. Right. We've, uh, seen, we've, we've heard these stories We've many heard times. these stories many a time. Mm-hmm. This focuses on uh, one of these particular families. Mm-hmm. Um, and they the way they break it down is they have a family population, they have the surf population, which are the people who put in your blue collar workers, mm-hmm. and then you have just the waste, which waste. are the people who just those be like your Waffle House people, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's just the, uh, the scum of the earth. Yeah, the adventures of the warring families, uh, the warring uh, uh, families that that you know the turf wars and all that kind of stuff. But the story focuses on Forever Lazarus, who mm-hmm. is uh, quite a special, unique killer. Trained, trained to kill in these streets. Trained to kill. Mm-hmm. I hate the name Forever, but terrible, 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 name. terrible, name. terrible. But... Forever Lazarus, horrible name. Yes, uh, but she is forever being reborn. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think about this book, Dave? <sighs> I've had no fewer than three people recommend this series. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they, they just they they give me very few details about it. They just said. You just need to read it. Hmm. And I started reading it. I was like, okay, you've got the, your, your standard badass female. Yeah. You know? And there were so many different ways they could have gone with this to make it um, just fit all the tropes, mm-hmm. to fit all the, the stereotypes. But they they went, they had, it had a different flavor to it. Yeah. And it fucking sold me. It fucking it sold you. It fucking, fucking it, sold It grabbed me. It didn't let go. It's just the the way, 
this the the interplay between the family the family members. Yeah. Uh, the fact that she you know it's hinted that she is not actually of the family. Yeah. Uh, that, that she's a you know essentially a brainwashed soldier. Uh, that's got nanites on her body that help me help bring her you know back to life whenever she is, uh, you know damaged, brutally killed, what have you. And the reveal later on that the all these other families have their own Lazarus yeah. Lazarus designates as well. Um, it it's 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 crisp and, and and as I was reading it, I got a very cinematic vibe from yeah. it. I could see, I could, I heard certain voice actors like do, like doing the voice of the father there. I kind of heard um, Paul Eiding, who was the who was Colonel from um, uh, from the Metal Gear Solid series. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I kind of heard him his voice there. <clears throat> the Colonel Roy Campbell. <clears throat> hmm. Colonel Roy Campbell? Yeah, Roy yeah. Campbell, yeah. Um, I heard his voice, his grav- gravelly voice in there. This scene right here <clears throat> was one of my favorites. The Where she, where the this sister grabbed the brother's... By the cojones. This, by the cojones, just like grabbed right in And I just saw it in, done in a cinematic fashion. That was one of the first that, that made that cinematic feel for me. That's, that's my, I would say that was my second favorite panel. My yeah. first favorite panel... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <clears throat> well, mm-hmm. Well, there are three. Okay. There are three. All right. All right. So, fair, 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 so fair. my third favorite is when she hands the kid a note when, when Mason's following her. Yeah. And he hands the kid a note and, he, and, and he's trailing her. And he's, he's like, let me see what that note says. What, what message is she trying to pass on? Yeah. And it's got a message to him. <laughs> and it, and it's, just, it's, just, it's just fucking great. And so <clears throat> that's my third favorite. So the second favorite of our steps there. Okay. The, my first favorite, and was like it's a series of panels. When she's like, I don't want to, I'm not going to give you my sword. And he's like, your blade. And before he finishes the, even the word, she has chopped off his hand. <clears throat> and then just about resheathed her sword by the time he finishes saying eight. Eight. The, yeah. rest, of the, the rest of the word. It's just. It's a one syllable <clears throat> word. One syllable. One syllable. Yeah. Your blade. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. I, I was like, I just, I just. This, this blew me away. Just the way just her, they could they could have really made her character that stereotype, the stereotypical. But she, her humanity is bleeding through the programming and that kind of thing. It's just yeah. it's it's done in such a a. I don't even want to use the word refreshing. It's just done it in a such a unique way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just yeah, yeah. I want to I want to keep reading and all the stuff that's going on between the family members. It's just yeah, man. I got all uh, four <laughs> current collective volumes, sir. If you need to get down, I haven't even I haven't finished the uh, killer B two, killer B two, uh, kill the yeah. two and three yet. But killer me, son. I will. I will. I want to trade those in. I'll, I'll get those other ones. Um. Now later on, there is like you said, they could go just the typical badass. Female, there is some of that in there, and mm-hmm. by that I mean some of the action scenes. Yeah, later. Yeah, I mean she is badass. Her taking on the she's, tank she's, she's badass for a reason. Uh, the one, what I will say about all the other uh, Lazarus types out there, mm-hmm. uh, they are unique, right? Mm-hmm. There's just one per family, so mm-hmm. there's about five or six mm-hmm. of them in the country. Mm-hmm. Who do you think has any kind of shared life experiences besides these other? Lazarus is nobody. So not only are they tools against each other for rewarding families, mm-hmm. but they're also friends, mm-hmm. which is really fucking weird. Like, mm-hmm. me and you were cool, we can go out and grab a drink, but then until it's time to, you know, our families are beefing, mm-hmm. now I gotta kind of try, try to kill you. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's almost it's, like it's almost like you know having having your own vampire or something like that. You know, but, yeah. but you know their their game they're. The rest of these guys are just cattle. They're they're on a different level yeah. than everyone else. Yeah, yeah, like, hey, we yeah. can we can hang out, we can chill a little. Uh, we have this fealty towards, we have this duty or service or whatever that we have to fulfill. But you know, it's 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 just it's on a different level. It is on a different. <laughs> and when we're talking about the art and low, where everything's kind of busy and stuff like that, you mm-hmm. don't. The it's just the panel breakdowns are very simplistic, very clean, very clean, yeah. very very clean. But very they're technical. also the technical, but they're also very suggestive and. I say just just even that moment where <clears throat> near the end where you see that the other Lazarus has the has the essentially he's essentially a robot with the the flesh over him and he's had a, he's had considerable damage he's been essentially a kind of a pretty boy yeah. but then you see that he's all scarred and marred and he and, and with those just simple panels it just shows <clears throat> how 
embarrassed or even a show that he's not that he has this ugliness to yeah, him. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. And then they just kind of part, and, they, and there's so much heaviness left over just right in there. Yeah. It's like he, he's facing away. He, there's nothing over there, but he's facing away. He's looking over there. He, he's, he's trying to hide all that stuff yeah, from he, her. He's yeah, got his, he's got his face hidden there, and then he finally turns and he's like, yeah, this is this is me. This is me. Let this me, is who I am. Yeah. Let me, uh, oh, man, I might yeah. need to reread this for myself. You have to, man. <laughs> Hello, Lazarus. Yeah, this uh, is so good. I think... I'm gonna give you this this hand hey. this hefty handshake. Hefty sir. handshake. Thank it's, you for introducing me to it. I fucking love. It. I'm glad I, I chose this one. I was I was going to go with something else. I was like, man, we haven't had anything with a good female lead in a while, so mm-hmm. I decided to go Lazarus. Yeah. But it was a good gamble to pay it off. So what yeah. you're saying is this is a go for you. This is a go. It's, 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 it's a double go. plus go. It's a double plus go. I'm not sure if I have a, a favorite panel. I think this might be my favorite panel. Just very yeah. early on, very on, page like two. Well, my thing is like, how did how did they even get the drop drop on her? But I mean, again, she's not, she's not invincible. Yeah, she's not invincible, and, and you do see the the series progresses. Yeah, and, uh, and you don't ever see how she has to drop. When this joint starts out, they are in the middle of already having the drop on her, mm-hmm. and, and, and bullets hitting the body. Mm-hmm. It's uh, the then the story expands. Everything goes, takes a wider scope mm-hmm. as as the volumes progress. Man, mm-hmm. I uh, highly suggest you listeners out there check out Lazarus. Highly. Highly. You owe it to yourselves to check out Lazarus. This is I can't I can't recommend it high enough. You, you need to read this book as much as you don't need to read Low. That's how much you do need to read Lazarus. <laughs> I uh, it was a recommendation for me. Uh, somebody, buddy of mine, mm-hmm. hit me up and he was like, "Yo, you need to check it out. You read Lazarus?" And I was like, "Never heard of it." And he's like, "You need to check it out." So on a whim, because you know sometimes you just gotta trust your people. Yeah. On a whim, I went out and bought it because it was like, in nine ninety nine. I mm-hmm. do believe. Yeah. Yep. yep. The first one's almost yeah. for free. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the first <laughs> first Image Volume One is almost always nine ninety nine. Mm-hmm. And, and this then, one only had I think it only had four issues. Yeah, it's only yeah. four or five issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, it 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 took a hefty break off from the actual story and they took I want to say like a good year exploring other stuff like doing a lot of world building but not actual storytelling progressing the story I did hear that now they are back to the story I think it's volumes one through five <laughs> and then after five is when they took the time off to this bullshit mm. and now they are back proper so I am ready for volume six to drop I think mm-hmm. they're like two or three issues back into the this new volume mm-hmm. I'm for it man okay I'm gonna check it out, man. I uh, yeah, it's it's, it's it's got me. It's got you. I said, I, I said when I get a good story, I uh, I just love just getting lost in it. Mm-hmm. Speaking of getting lost in good stories, <clears throat> oh here he comes. With Our this. next episode of ABC's TVB. Not only we get to the M's where we do the. Dramatic weigh-in. The dramatic final weigh-in. The final weigh-in, so we can see who's getting the... What, what, what did we bet? I, I think I for you, I got volume two of Saga. The yes, big book. and for you, I have uh, the hardcover for Descender, volume Descender. one. Descender. Yeah. Volume. Oh, that's right. Because right, 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 I need to get more of Descender. Yeah. Um, so... So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. that. I'm that'll looking forward to that, that Descender. Mm-hmm. I appreciate mm-hmm. that. Uh, thank you for Saga. Um, you know, you know, who knows? It might be a tie. It might come out. We, we, we both we, lost seven point eight three pounds. Exactly. <laughs> just right, right there on the cusp. You know, I'll fart one out and we just and then I'll make weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll take my wallet off it real quick. Yeah. But yes, uh, so we've got the M's coming up with the, but uh, it's my esteem, my great pleasure no. to to get Jodorowsky's and Jimenez's the Meta Baron's Ultimate Collection. Now, you have been touting the Meta Barons as the story of all stories to behold since stories were created. Mm-hmm. According to Dave, it's Ninja an Dave here. It's an epic. And you know how people use the word. They just throw it around like it's, it's rice candy. Like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, it's an oh, it oh, epic. Oh, it's epic. No, this yeah. is an epic. It is an epic. Yeah. You, you, Homer and the Odyssey, throw that shit in the trash. <laughs> Throw it in the trash. Throw it in the trash. This is more yes. entertaining than the Old and the New Testaments, huh? Oh, they, much more fire and brimstone. Okay, then. Mm-hmm. All right, then. Well, the artwork looks interesting. You have been... You've put this high on a pedestal. And I might say that uh, your book looks flawless, sir. Thank you. I, you, I, 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 feel, I feel you I've, take great care of this. I have. I've lent it to no one. You are actually the first person <gasps> to actually hold this book and remove it from my presence. Oh. 
<clears throat> so it just, will be uh, read with great reverence. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, and I might get into this. I know I have a science fiction book that I should have finished long ago. That's number one priority. What's, what's, what science fiction book is this? It's the seventh book of The Expanse, if you've heard of the sci-fi uh, yeah, show. So you talked about... I, I, I talk about The Expanse quite often. Yeah. I, I have a hundred and some odd pages left in this book, so I'm trying to well, you know, power through. Finish it tonight. And then tomorrow. <laughs> and then tomorrow I need to so get up on this Meta yeah. Uh There's also another comic I just have half red laying around. Mm-hmm. Oh, Autumn Lands. I went and picked up Autumn Lands Volume 2 to go all the way back to our A episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, I picked up Autumn Lands Volume 2. I'm, I'm enjoying that so far. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the side for now. What's your M, good sir? My M mm-hmm. is Mouse Guard mm-hmm. by, I do believe, David Peterson okay. uh, is, the, uh, is the writer's name. Uh, I've never read Mouse Guard. Mm. It's when I think this is the first, second, second book of mine of the ABC of TVBs that I have not read going mm. into it. Interesting. So this is this is gonna be uh, something new for me. I'm looking forward to seeing what you what you think about it. So you have read, I have read, I have Mouse, read Guard. Mouse Guard, all of it, or just I see it's broken up in like fall. It's, and yeah, it's winter. got a bunch of different ones. I've only I've only read the first series. I don't remember if that which which series that was. I think that was fall. I think that's the one I have. Okay. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading that and checking it out, okay. and uh, and seeing what it's all about, man. Cool. Do that. Do that. Before we before we adjourn, uh, I just want to get you in this, uh, this first page. <laughs> all right, we will we will save all this of this for the M's. The so M, you don't want we to will do save it all for the M's. <laughs> just incorrigible. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Uh, you got anything else, for me, sir? Uh, I don't know if uh, I'll, I can't remember if we had any words from Young Gomez from the L episode. I guess I could look that up real quick and see. Yeah, let's go take a look. While, and, uh, while he's while he's doing that, let me fun for a little bit. Uh, we've been doing this series, um, you know, for quite a few months now. I, I, I'm enjoying. I'm still enjoying these uh, being exposed to books that either I have not read or. Um, you know, I just I gave a gave a chance. Some of them I've been pleasantly surprised by. Uh, some I've been like, eh, you know, keep going. But there, you know, I, it's been fun doing this podcast with you, man. Likewise, you're sir. a good dude. Likewise, mm-hmm. um, I was, yeah, yeah. It's just, this has been it's been more more fun than I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah, more good. fun than I thought it would be. There we yeah. go. She did make a quick comment okay. on our L or our K episode mm. uh, from Young Alicia Gomez. Welcome back. Because it had been a little bit. It had yes. been a little bit for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, it sounds like both Killer Be Killed and Captara are a ghost. She'd already been on the fence mm-hmm. about Killer Be Killed, but I guess this helped push yeah, her forward. Sure, yeah. um, apparently that will bring her collection of comics with the word kill in the title up to five. Interesting. Interesting. Um, so currently, I was thinking about this earlier, mm-hmm. on our on our do not finish list, we each have two books. Mm. You have Lo and Chew. Yep. I have low and Earth true. X. I finished you. You finished you? Unfortunately, I muscled really? through it because I thought you finished and I didn't want to be left out. Oh, okay. Uh, and Earth X Earth is my. Uh, so we have. Right. So what is this? The uh, we say this is episode twelve. Yeah. So twenty four books between mm-hmm. two of us, mm-hmm. and four did not finish us, which well, that's not too bad. That's not bad. It's not too bad. I mean, we gave it a shot. Yeah. We gave yeah, it a good yeah. old college try. And that's one in every six. That's sixteen percent. Yeah. So we're doing all right for ourselves, I think. I mean, uh, if, if any of you listeners out there want to be like, oh, you guys should, how dare you review a book without finishing it all the way, you know, blah, blah, blah. Why dare you to finish it? Well, you know, give, give us an offer we can't refuse. Dig, if you give us a good dare, we'll I, finish it. I dare y'all to try to finish low and see, 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 <laughs> see how we feel about the whole damn thing. <laughs> Someone out, someone out there loved it. So, I, I, I have a friend who swears by Low, mm. and he was quite disappointed when I couldn't finish it the first time I tried to read it. Mm. 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 Did he mm. chastise you? He chastised me a little bit. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, well, you know, balancing the universe, you know. Yeah. yeah. You got anything else, sir? That's it for me, man. Um, let's call it. We call it an episode. Let's call it an episode, man. Yeah. We will return in a couple of weeks with the M's right here on ABC's of TPB. You guys be good. <laughs>